Good afternoon, or morning, depending on what time it is, wherever you are. This tutorial covers classifying triangles, which is the first concept covered in Unit 4. It will also assist you with Assignment 4.1. Um, there are two ways to classify, tri classify triangles by sides and by angles. We're going to first talk about classifying triangles uh, by their angles. So in classifying by angles, there are four different classifications. Acute, obtuse, right, and, and equiangular. Um, an acute triangle has three acute angles. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. A right triangle has one right angle. And an equiangular triangle has three congruent angles. Um, technically, a equiangular triangle um, is also an acute angle or acute triangle but for classification purposes when all three angles are acute we are going to classify it as an equiangular triangle not an acute triangle um, the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so each angle of, of an equiangular triangle is going to be 60 degrees and that's going to be um, something important for you to remember um, <clears throat> the second way to classify a triangle is by its sides which we'll get to in just a minute so if we look over these notes and this is the page of notes um, for this lesson um, so as we come um, problems one through four refer to this figure so triangle CDE which is this triangle right here that's a right triangle because of this right angle next number two triangle BCE that's this triangle right here that's going to be an obtuse triangle because of that obtuse angle triangle ABE which is right here note the three um, arcs that all are marked with uh, one one line um, that means all three angles are congruent, so it's an equiangular triangle. And then triangle BDE right here is also going to be an obtuse triangle because of the obtuse angle there. All right, so I mentioned the second way to classify triangles is by its sides. Um, so we've got an equilateral triangle here. That means that all three sides are congruent. We've got an isosceles triangle. That means two of the sides are congruent. And a scaling triangle. That means that no sides are congruent. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so when you see this this figure down here, uh, we've got JKM triangle JKM, which is this big figure right there. Um, that's going to be a scaling triangle because no sides are congruent. For triangle KLN, that's this little one right here. See these two marks there and there. That means these two sides are congruent. So that's going to be an isosceles triangle. And then we've got the, the JKN, this triangle right here. Notice the three marks, one on each side there. Um, that's going to be an equilateral triangle. So down here, we classify each of these triangles by its sides and its angles. So it's got a, a um, right angle, so that's going to be a right triangle. And it's got two congruent sides. That's an isosceles triangle right here. It's going to be an obtuse triangle because it's got an obtuse angle. Uh, and by um, its sides, um, that sh actually should say... Um, well, to the back, this actually should say scaling triangle. So that should be a scaling triangle. And then here, um, this is an equiangular triangle. All three sides, angles are congruent, and all three sides are congruent. Anytime we have a triangle that is equiangular, it's also going to be equilateral. And then on the back, um, these last two problems, it's, it's finding the, um, you got to find the uh, sides of each of these triangles to be able to classify it. So you would use the distance formula um, to find the side length of all three sides. If you notice here, once we solve that, we've got this is 8.2, 8.2, and 8.5. So that's going to end up being an isosceles triangle. And down here, once we use the distance formula for all three sides, all three sides, none of them are congruent. So that's going to be a scaling triangle. Okay. Now when we get to the assignment, um, 4.1 was done in class. The practice side was. So the homework um, is just... Uh, the home learning side, so this is what needs to be turned in. Um, so if, as we go over here, just to go over this real quick, so which, for one through four, we would classify this by its angles and its sides. So again, this has an acute angle right here, or actually all three are acute, so that's acute. Two congruent sides, so that's going to be an isosceles, right triangle, 
scaling triangle because none of the sides are congruent, equiangular and equilateral. Again, those two, will, if one's equiangular, it's also going to be equilateral and vice versa. And then over here, this is an obtuse triangle, and then it's going to be scaling because all three of the sides are, are none of them are congruent. Down here, um, when we get to number five, okay, so we are, um, you always want to take note of the information that we're given. So QN bisects B PQR, so that means that bisects this, that means if this is 30, that's also going to be 30. Um, and uh, N is the midpoint of PR, so that's the midpoint right there, so we want to classify each triangle by its angles and its sides. Um, so PQR, this triangle right here, so if this is 60 and that's 60, um, we add those up, adds up to 120. All three angles are going to be 180, so when, if you take 120 from 180, we get 60. So we know then that this is going to be an equiangular and an equilateral triangle. So this one will be equiangular and equilateral. Again, if one's equiangular, it's also going to be equilateral. And then for PRT, we would, we would do this one is we know that a straight angle from here to here is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 60 is 120. So that means this is 120. So that means this is going to be an obtuse triangle. And um, obtuse. And then none of these sides are going to be congruent. Um, you can see this is obviously longer than this side. Um, because if we measured this, this would only be come down to about right there. Um, so that is going to be a scalene triangle. Okay, And then down here, um, again, the same thing that we did on 11 and 12 on our notes. Um, we use the distance formula to find all three sides. And I've got the actually worked everything out here. Um, right there, so the green corresponds with the green. So we've got, um, actually I'll write in green for this one. So... For AB, we ended up getting 7.3. BC, we ended up getting 10.3. And AC is 7.3. Um, so this um, ends up being a, an isosceles right triangle. Okay, and the reason we know this is a right triangle is because the slope of this line right here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so down 7 over 2, so that's 7 over 2, so that's going to be negative 7 over 2 is this slope, I'm just going to write that right there, and then the slope of AB is 1, 1, 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be positive 2 over 7 for AB. And if you note, note then, these are the negative reciprocal. So negative reciprocal um, means it's going to be, they're going to be perpendicular, which means that's going to be a right angle, 90 degrees. Okay. And then for the blue one, D. So we've got 9.5 for DE. 8.1 for EF and 14.9 for DF. Okay, and that's going to be a an obtuse angle, so that's going to be a obtuse and a scalene. Okay, so that should be everything that you need to know to solve all the problems here. Okay, so you would just do one through four, just like we did one through four there, really easy, and then you would just do um, these three, just like you, uh, we did this one right here. All right.